To get started building our own visuals and to set up the development environment, we need to understand which programming language we actually need to use when creating custom visuals. And as you might know, there are a lot of different programming languages. So are you free to choose whichever language you want? Well, not really. Custom visuals in Power BI are simply just HTML documents in the end. So each visual you drag into your report or you add to your report is just a tiny little HTML document, a little web page, you could say. Now, of course, it misses a lot of the features web pages typically have, but all the graphics, everything you see is created with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. The three languages you use for creating web pages, at least from a front end perspective. So from what runs in the browser. If you already know web development, it should be easy to follow along and build your own visuals. And if you don't know it, but plan to dive deeper into creating your own visuals, learning web development, especially as mentioned front end web development might be a great idea since this is what you will use to build your own visuals. Now, whilst it is true that we use HTML, of course, visuals charts often are about shapes, rectangles, like a bar chart, as you can see here, or circles or anything like that. And whilst you could build these shapes with normal HTML, there is one specific HTML element, which really makes your life easier here. And that is SVG, scalable vector graphics. In a normal web page, you can embed SVG graphics to quickly add such shapes or such illustrations to a web page. And it's the same for your visual. Since you use HTML, you could use SVG here. And that's the great thing with SVG, you can easily build these shapes. Now with SVG and HTML, we get a powerful way of creating our shapes. So what we will do in the end here is we will use web technologies as mentioned before. So that's HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Though I have to say something about the JavaScript part. We don't actually use JavaScript when creating our own custom visuals. We use TypeScript, which is a superset to JavaScript. So what is TypeScript and why do we use it? If we have a look at vanilla JavaScript, which is the language which runs in the browser and which also runs in Power BI in the end, we know that yeah, it runs in every browser and it's a powerful language, but it misses some features other languages have. For example, the support for strong typing. In JavaScript, and you may already know this, if you have a variable which holds a number, you can easily assign a string thereafter to it and JavaScript won't complain. That can be an advantage, but oftentimes it's a disadvantage because your code is unpredictable and you as a developer can run into problems which you can't detect during development, which only occur once your app runs. That is one of the issues TypeScript fixes. It adds many new features to JavaScript, for example, types, but also other things like classes or interfaces. So it makes it easier for you to code your app, to work with, yeah, JavaScript or then TypeScript. And that is the main advantage. What will happen though is it is always compiled to JavaScript during development. So you write TypeScript code and then some program, some compiler, TypeScript chips with one, will automatically compile the code to JavaScript once you're done so that what runs in the browser or in Power BI in our case is JavaScript. And that is important. It is JavaScript, but we use TypeScript during development to get these extra features to have an easier life, basically. So that is the language we'll use TypeScript together with some HTML and some CSS, but most of the work will happen in TypeScript. Now, one issue we might face is that we of course have a data driven document and we will have a look at this in the next lecture.